Alrighty, take two of this video. Hello YouTube, the Jersey Shark here. Sorry for lack of uploads. Life got crazy. It was bad at first. Now it's good. Start a new job back in October. Glad I finally have my weekends back. But here with a manga haul, it's been a long time. I have a lot of volumes to go through. And this is going to be the last... Uh, what should we call it? It's going to be the last manga haul I do on this channel because... Starting next year, which is a day from now. I'm up, I'm recording this on the 30th, but I'm going to upload it on the 31st. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a new channel just dedicated to strictly uh, manga and uh, anime and anime-related things. Uh, the name of that channel is called Heizui, which is a play on my last name, and Kazooie from Banjo and Kazooie. I thought it was pretty clever, but... I'll leave a link to that in the description. There's no videos on there yet, obviously, but the first one will be a manga haul for January. Either that or my manga collection when I uh, reorganize my bookcase after filming this video, and then I actually now need to buy another uh, bookcase slash self shelf. <laughs> so I have a lot to go through here. And uh, yeah, I don't really have this organized perfectly well. I mean, I did keep series together, and thankfully I was able to complete one of my goals for this year. One was to buy all of Claymore. I haven't bought any since Volume 10. I've not gone to uh, Newberry Comics in a while. And don't have all the volumes of Spouse or Reservoir Chronicle yet, but that is definitely one of my major goals for next year. But I did catch up with Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt, so we'll get to that. But I'm going to start off with the light novels. I slowed down on the light novels. So here's volume 5 of uh, Strange Adventure of a Broke Mercenary. Not my favorite. Um, not my favorite novel in this series. I guess that's kind of why I never... I mean, yeah, I'm pretty close to finishing it. But that's why I never made the effort to. Yeah, I don't know what happened with me with light novels was on a big kick for most of the year, and then it just fizzled out. Here's novel six. I should have completed and read all of this series by now, but things happen. And then here's, uh, I did finish Vivi Proto a Vivi prototype, though. Love this novel. Love the anime as well. That's what got me to get the novel. Ah, let me stand up. Oy. Going on my knees is not fun. I'm kind of far away from my, I'm a little far away from my phone, so... Sorry if the audio's wacky. And, uh, yeah, sorry if it sounded congested. It's just allergies. But, uh, on Black Friday, actually, the new Barnes & Noble opened up. Same town as the old one I used to always go in. But, uh, I like this new location. It is very nice. Here's volumes 4 and 5 of Rooster Fighter. They had volume 5 a week before it was supposed to release, which is pretty cool. So there's that. These are from the Crunchyroll store. Uh, I don't know if these are still on sale uh, as I'm recording this and when I upload it, but I have the first three volumes of my Dress Up Darling. I may or may not try and pick up the rest of the series. That is A, if it's still on sale, and B, if it's still in stock. But I'm glad nothing's really changed uh, since, uh, what should we call it? Since Crunchyroll took over right stuff. Here's a series I've been enjoying and I'm excited for the anime. And that's Chain Soldier. So there's volumes 4 and 5. Here's a newer release, uh, Virgin Love. I don't know why I like rom-coms or just <laughs> romance manga in general, but... Uh, what I like about this one is it's uh, adult romance. Glad we're seeing more of that now. And then the only two volume, uh, the only two manga volumes I don't have present, present because they're in my car. That's volume four of uh, Sailor Moon, the newer collections that have been coming out, and volume one of Other Side Picnic. Uh, usually I don't buy BL or GL manga, but. Uh, from what people tell me about what people have told me about Other Side Picnic, just how crazy the uh, 
What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, how crazy the atmosphere is and dark. That's what uh, got me to read it. I know there's a light novel as well, but I went with the manga because age cheaper. Actually, that is the only reason why, because it is cheaper. And plus, I want to visually see how uh how uh see how crazy the uh, atmosphere is i know not to watch the anime though so not going to touch that <laughs> but there's that here's volume two of pandora seven i don't know why this is these volumes are taking forever to release but they are it's okay i actually haven't gotten around to reading volume one you're going to notice a lot of... The, you're going to notice that a lot with these manga. A lot of them are still in the wrapping. Then here's volume 18 of Inspector. Love this series. Hoping we get more. I don't think it's ending yet. I think it will soon, though. I know uh, Card Captor Soccer Clear Card it has ended. And I only have the first two volumes of that, so I got to get on that. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge Clamp fan, so. Here's volume three of The Night Blooms Behind the Castle Walls. Or, Behind Castle Walls. Have not started that series either, but I have all three volumes. Randomly found this at Target. Which I'm glad, because, uh... The Kinokuniya by me never had volume one, and only now, uh... Bards and Noble has it, but that's, uh... But it's, uh, Witch Hat Atelier. I did the light novels already, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool, now I'm all caught up to uh, where I was in the previous video. Same time length, too. I don't know how I pulled that off, but okay. <laughs> uh, here's volume 6 of Black Lagoon. This I should have completed by now as well, but I haven't gotten a Newberry in a long time. Otherwise, this would have been finished. I would have had all of Claymore, most likely, too. There's that. Here's a Kowloon Generic Romance. Really loving this, uh, loving this manga as well. I'm on the, uh, third volume currently, but here's four and five. I hope this series sticks around for a while. And then here's another recent release. Never watched, uh, and haven't gotten around to watching the anime yet. But here's the Omnibus for, uh, Tomo-chan as a girl. I believe this is only... Was it seven volumes total? And I'm glad they uh, put this in omnibus form. Because I saw how thin volume one was and went, whoa, that's... Uh... Yikes. <laughs> but anyway. Here's volumes three, four, and five of Shy. Pretty cool how this got an anime. Was not expecting that. I uh, haven't watched too much of the anime, only because I'm only on volume two of the manga. want to read the manga first, then watch the anime so I can uh, compare the two. Here's volumes three and four of uh, Yasuhime, Princess Half Demon. Still cannot find volume five. I'm pretty sure Kino Kunia has it, but I haven't been able to go there in a while as well uh, because of the new job. I have weekends off, which is great, but those are always the busy days and a lot of traffic since George Washington Bridge is right before the exit I take to get to uh, the uh, Japanese marketplace that Kino Kuni is in. And especially now with the One Piece store opening up in Mitsua in New Jersey, more traffic. It's crazy. Well, we'll talk more about One Piece. We'll get to that. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Clamp, here's uh, Tokyo Babylon, which I'm glad they uh, re reprint, right? I was going to say reissue, but maybe reprint is the right word. So there's that, and then one I'm really happy about is uh, Magic Knight Ray Earth. I actually have the first two volumes. Let me go grab those real quick. At least I know where those are. <laughs> Like I said, I have to reorganize my shelf, but these are nowhere in the drawer where I usually keep my controllers for the various consoles I own. But here are the uh, first two volumes of the uh, Tokyo Pop. Are these the original? I don't even know. I don't know if these are the actual original manga for Magic Knight Ray Earth, but 
I'm glad these. Uh, I'm glad this is getting reprinted with Kodansha. It looks like it's uh, bigger, which is nice. Very happy about that. I'm excited for more volumes of that to come out. Here's uh, Wistoria, Wand and Sword. Oh, there are two other volumes I forgot to get. They're not on my shelf, which is why I don't. Which is why I didn't grab them. But it's uh, Record of Grand Crest War. They had volumes three, four, and five uh, for three ninety nine at Newbury, like this uh, Wistoria. Haven't gone around to reading that though. But I, I love how Newbury Comics has manga for uh, significantly cheaper sometimes. I don't know if it's because it's damaged or what, but who knows? Uh, here's volume one of Dinosaur Sanctuary. I don't have the other two volumes yet, but I heard this is like, it's kind of like Jurassic Park, but kind of like Jurassic Park, kind of not like Jurassic Park. There's that, and the rest, I think, are a uh, series I'm catching up with, and then two new series I picked up. Or, or almost, almost. <laughs> there are two new series I picked up that I'm really enjoying. We'll get to those in a bit. But I'm finally starting to catch up more with Drifting Dragons. So here's volume six, seven, and eight. These are hard to find for me. I'm going after resort to either a Crunchyroll store or uh, Amazon to get the rest of those, except for the most recent volumes. I know Kinokuniya has those. Here's volumes one and two of the Essence of Being a Muse. Really interested in. Uh, uh, no, let me word this better. <laughs> Something's never changed with me. I don't know why I'm always so awkward with videos. I've been doing I've been doing videos for a long time, just not consistently. But anyway, um, the story interests me for the essence of being amused. Being amused, there we go. Sounded like I said amused, but yeah, I know this one's uh, this one's also crazy. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Here's another newer newer release, uh, Team Phoenix. And oh man, uh, getting the posters that come out of these is a struggle. All of mine are ripped, which is okay, but I know some people keep the posters in the volumes. I want to take them out to eventually display them, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if uh, I don't know if I'll show. I'll probably show those posters in the collection video, but on the new channel. But anyway. Here's the final volume for Persona 4 Arena. And then volumes 1, 2, and 3 of Arena Ultimax. Another goal I have for next year is to buy all the Persona manga. So that's 3, 4, and 5. And 5 Mementos missions, I think it's called. Yeah, I should have been caught up with those. I wish uh, I had picked up more volume, more of the Persona volumes and Silent Mobius when uh, Toy was sold to manga. I missed out on that. Oh, well. Here's volume one, two, and three of Record of Lotus War. So that's all complete. Can't believe how thin the third volume is, though, but... It was really awesome to see uh, manga for that series. I wish we got more. Here's volume 9 of Final Fantasy uh, Lost Stranger. Love this series as well. If you're a Final Fantasy fan, recommend it. I think that's a given, though. And then here is volume 8 of Hinoa Got Crush. Uh, I wish this series was better, honestly, but... Uh, it's alright. Made up with it with Chain Soldier, so I'm... You're, you redeemed yourself, uh, Takahiro. Sorry if I butcher names. For those of you who don't know, he wrote uh, Akami Ga Kill and Akami Ga Kill Zero. Uh, Akami, Ga Kill, Akami Ga Kill used to be my favorite manga series. Gundam Thunderbolt took that over. And again, we'll get to Gundam Thunderbolt. It's probably what I'll end this video with.
Either that or One Piece, but... No, probably Thunderbolt, because I have a lot to say there. I know many of us have been anticipating the release of March Comes In Like a Lion. Great anime. Highly recommend it. Manga's good as well. Uh, let's go with this stack. We'll go with this stack, and then... I just have One Piece, two new series, and Gundam to finish this off. This video actually is not as long as uh, I thought it would be. Watch it get there, though. <laughs> but here's uh, volume 15, 16, and 17 of Orient. Loving this series as well. Can't find volume 18. So it's either A, I go to Kinokuniya one of these days and get it, or just buy it off Amazon. I'm probably just going to buy it off Amazon at this point. Here's Go Go Loser Ranger, Volume 4, 5, 6, and 7. I think Volume 8 comes out in January, which is next month. Uh, what do you go with? I guess we'll just do this one Gundam uh, manga, which I was surprised was coming out, and that's uh, Char's Counterattack. I don't, I don't know how many volumes of this are going to release, but... I'm just happy we're getting more Gundam manga. There's a lot we still don't have. Uh, really excited to read that one. Let me grab... Let me grab one of the newer series I picked up. Which is actually by the artist for the Akami uh, Kill manga. And that's uh, Tetsuya Toshiro. And that series is Slasher Maidens. Uh... When did I buy volume one of this? Let's hope I can find that quick. I bought volume two in September. Oh, August. So back in August when I was at Kino Cunha, I was looking for a new series to buy. And I didn't even see the name of the... I didn't see the name of the series. I just saw uh, the author's name. I said, wait, that looks familiar. Grabbed a volume of Kamiga Kill and said, Oh, it's the artist for a Kamiga Kill. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to buy this. And I was not ready for the cra uh for the craziness that is Slasher Maidens. Uh definitely need that per uh, explicit content warning on this because oh yeah. It's nuts. It's nuts. There's profanity. There's a lot of uh, there's blood and everything. It's a crazy, wild series that I'm really enjoying. Um, definitely etchy. That's the word I was looking for. There we go. So I have every volume except volume 10. Buying that off Amazon, though. But yes, I am actually enjoying this series. One of the more graphic uh, mangas I own, but it is what it is. I still love the story, though. That's what gets me to keep reading it. And next up is actually my favorite... Yeah, this is my favorite manga to release this year. Uh, definitely underrated the anime as well. I... Actually, have to thank my friend Jonah up in Canada for recommending me this anime. The anime is Dead Mount Death Clay. And yeah, I picked up all the volumes throughout the year. So here's volume one, two, three. Another uh, mature series. Four, five. Ah, oh, where to put these? <laughs> Running out of room. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. Don't fall ten. Let me grab that real quick. And volume ten. So I'm all caught up with that. Uh, once I finish Thunderbolt, this is what I'm going to read next. And then probably Orient because. I th what am I on? Chapter uh, volume nine or ten of Orient? I don't remember. My backlog's huge for both manga and video games. Uh, but this year, 
finally went down the rabbit hole that is One Piece. I did watch the live action, love it. Uh, anime, I know, I know what happens. I'm all caught up with the anime and manga, thanks to my friend Brandon. He always tells me what happens. So yeah, I guess I am spoiled, but I don't know how it happens and everything. But uh, I'm reading the manga, loving the manga. I am sad about the price increase with the uh, omnibuses, but uh, that's where the Crunchyroll store comes in. But anyway, so I have a bunch of omnibuses for One Piece. So I'll show those off. And yeah, I'm a fan of omnibuses. I know people tend to not like them. I know the quality of some are better than others. Looking at you, Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> but. Anyway. So I'm up to volume 19. Oh, there's my bookmark. Okay, good. So I'm up to volume 19. And then here's the final one I have so far, which is, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I was right. This is the eighth omnibus for One Piece. And then finally to end this video, Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. Oh my God. Yes, I'm a big Gundam fan. I did not expect the roller coaster that is Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt after uh, catching up with the series, I just laugh at, uh, The Witch for Mercury and Iron-Blooded Orphans. In my opinion, this, uh, manga is better than both of them. This is, in my opinion, one of the top, uh, Gundam series. Everything you love about Gundam, you'll find in this. Uh, the politics, the action, little bit of romance... Uh, a lot of action, though. A lot of, uh... A lot of deaths and whatnot, but... Th this is what uh, Gundam is all about. Love the story. Love both uh, main characters. So that's uh, Daryl Lorenz and E.O. Fleming. I like Daryl more than E.O., though, but... I could go on and on about this series. I don't know what took me forever to, uh... Catch up, but... Another thing I love about this series is uh, the artwork for the volumes. I'm surprised that was the first time I knocked down my tripod, but... And what's cool about this manga is uh, you do get a few color pages here and there. But, oh man, the story! That's what just kept making me uh, want to uh, binge read, pretty much. There's volume 11, 12, 13, 14. Was 14 the really crazy one? It was either 14 or 15 that... Uh... Oh, yes. I think it was volume 14. A lot of... A lot of, uh... a lot of events happened in volume 14. After I read it, I said, Damn it, I wish I had volume 15 already because that was awesome. I'm not going to spoil anything, but... Oh, man. A lot happens in Volume 14. I could do a whole video just on that volume. That would have spoilers, though. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's 15, 16... 17, 18... I'm about half... Or almost halfway through Volume 19, I think. And then here's Volume 20. And I know this isn't over... I know last year the author said, oh, we're in the climax of the series. I can write this for another two years. So we probably have another year of Thunderbolt, which is awesome. God, I cannot. I usually don't fanboy much, but pick up this, uh, pick up Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. You will not regret it. There's not been one volume that I've felt empty about or, well, yeah, I'm wanting more, but in a good way. But anyway, uh, other than the aforementioned mangas um, I said throughout this video, that is it. I'm surprised I got this under 30 minutes. I am proud of myself for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all have a, hope you all have a safe and happy new year. I don't know why I sounded like a southerner there, but okay. 
Uh, and here's to a brighter and better 2024. Yeah, this year really sucked, but again, it sucked, it ended well. I'm not going to go into crazy details about personal stuff, but definitely mentally, I'm in, an a, I'm in a much better place than when I started the year. And uh, who can ask for more? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'll leave the link to my new channel in the description below. Because that's where all my manga and anime content are going to go. And I don't think I'm going to have a set schedule for uploading. So, yeah. But picked up a lot more video games over the month. I have... Well, my 96th physical Switch game is coming in the mail. Which is crazy because uh, now I need a new case for my games. <laughs> I can't believe I have that many physical Switch games. I'm crazy. I know. But uh, enough of me rambling on. Uh, here's 2024, and I'll see you next year. Bye for now.